Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about another game which is will help you learn Dynamo or any other node system programming like Grasshopper or even the Blender. Blender is also using right now the node system programming. So if you are ready for this game like tutorial, let's get started. If you didn't watch my previous tutorial, please watch it, because in the previous tutorial I showed, uh, showed to you already another game, which is called The Wild True. I think you also will find it really useful. Uh, but today we're gonna talk about the 7 billion humans. 7 billion humans is already another level, so if we using for example the previous tutorial just not systems so we are using this something like a classes in uh, while true here we will really starting programming child version of the programming lego mindstorm it will be kind of like that anyway the logic what you will get from for example from this game will be totally same adult programming I will start this game with you, so I will start from the zero. Here I have the, some story of that, uh, like what you will do, but the uh, main idea, you should create the code. Okay, enough talking, let's get started to do something. So what we're gonna do right now, as you can see, we have some uh, humans and we need programming these humans really definitely strange like how we can programming humans and as you can see you can see it here we have the sum we have the sum for example commons like step pick up and drops we are starting from the only few one for example we will start from the step and we choosing where the humans will be do the step for example let me i will make the not right i will make on this direction and if you will start, as you can see, everyone stepping back. Of course, it's not right because they should step uh, on the other direction. So let's change that direction and let's create again. And as you can see, all the humans reach the uh, reach the points. But again, this is not right. Or this is not what they want from us. Because if we read our, let's say, the challenge, we need not only just step on this on this point. We also need to pick up the this uh, kind of the block. Let me I will use it and I will place it here. And let's start again. And they doing the one step and they pick up of that. But it's still not because they need drop it again. So. And after that, it will be drop. As simple as that. So they took it and they drop it, and we pass this quest. So this was so simple, and this was only the first level, as you can see. But second level, it's already not will be uh, so easy because we now get, as you can see, something strange numbers. Let's have a look what we should do. Had some like quest again, and let's have a look. We should now took these cubes and making the two steps forward on this line we should drop it so it's easy but let's do it so we need we should get the step let's do the step after that we should pick up our uh, cube our we should after that we should do one more step it will be already here and after that we should do one more step oh sorry this is pick up we need one more step forward forward and after that we should drop our block let me try it so they took it two steps and drop it and everything all right so as you can see it's slowly slowly now we are using more and more code we cannot use always time for example step 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 it will be so long because as you understand we should use the loop wait for it and we will get the uh, loop function a bit later on let me I will skip over everything all this story we get the comment jump what is that jump let me check so you just drag and drop here and you will get what jump doing actually actually jump it's like a loop like a loop this is really important for us what jump doing let me I will show you uh, so let let's first uh, place our humans to this block and let's pick this ball blocks you already know how to do that we should do the step but now we should do not downside we need to do it right side so to the right and let's see so they going to right so after that they should pick up these uh, blocks and after that they should go again to the forward but uh, let's calculate one two three four five or so it's more than 10 times they should go to the these holes they should fall down but uh, we cannot write here the 10 times step it's crazy 
we can use the jump so for example uh, when they doing the step after they after that they pick up the blocks after that they doing the step and after that they jump to this stage again so it means uh, when they doing the step they going to the back side and doing the step again and on and on on and on till it's not not will finish so how it's working let me show you it's working like this as you can see so this is just like a loop and we did it as you can see it's already going to the like a real programming really perfect right and now we have the if so what if doing you can of course the check what if the doing in this uh, game but we already know what is uh, if doing if it's like uh, choosing the way let's say like that and let's see for example here we have human and this human should go to the left uh, this human should go to the left and this human to the right this to the left and this to the right we should somehow write the code to the move it one time get the block but they should go to the different ways how we can do that let's choose the if command and let's see how the if working here for example what we have uh, the similar for example between this person and and this person only for example this person this person have the hole here right so if this person have the hole here we can say if in the left side we have the uh, hole go to the right go to the right let's see how it's working as you can see this person going to the right position okay after that what we can say again else for example else will be next time we should make the more if else again if if for example uh, this person should be also go to the right side as you can see uh, but we are care now about this one to the left to the left let's see what about this one uh, how we can say to the go to the right for example you should go to the right if there will be data data cube and you should go to the right there is the right step right let's say is it working and two person going to the right position else go to the left so as easy as that i don't think so it will be working or not but let's see it's working else here go to the left and this guy going to dots not right side so we should somehow now thinking how we should write the code this is now going the much interesting and let's see why this person going this side and after that going to the left side let's see again it's going to the right and to the left so this is not right because this if let's place it some way here or maybe even so even some way here or let me re uh, recreate this code because uh, we have the cubes and we can uh, follow not how we can follow the cubes let me write the if uh, on the left side you have data cube uh, do the step to the left else to the right where is the our step else to the right and after that just pick the cube let's try done but it's not uh, the final uh, destination what we should do because as you can see uh, we should uh, you got uh, the new command if okay this is okay walking did you know you should fall into the safe hole so safe hole is as you can see this here one two three okay so they should again go to the different uh different uh different uh, different ways and now i will do the tricky and uh, actually the stupid thing because we should get the loop uh, how we can do that we can make for example the step uh, pick up here and again the step to the left here and make it make it jump like this and here we can do the same thing it's actually it's a, a bit stupidly but uh, it's working if it's working it's a nice uh, solution so we can say like that so let's do one more time uh, step uh, pick pick it up and the step again to the right position and again the jump yeah as i said this looks the stupidly but it should work let's try it and yes it's working but anyway anyway this is a looping we passed this quest and here is the next level the same nodes and uh, uh, 
a new mission and as you can see we don't have any new nodes for now but we already have the uh, new challenge now for example they should pick up all this uh, data as you can see they not similar uh, standing all this data and they should follow it down here uh, how we can do that actually this is uh, this tutorial like a final exam we already know how to do that we just should Mm, we just should uh, use all our knowledge for example we will start from the if no uh, from the if they should go uh, down if it's uh, for example nothing they doing the mm, step step here actually not nothing they doing the step uh, like this uh, else they doing the step where is the step they doing the step and they pick up Oh, we can do like even like this right now, so we don't need it. So let's try it. So they doing the step. I ah, don't. They cannot do that step because here should be the nothing. Where is the nothing? Like this. One. They did step. Second. And oh. Yes, it's my mistake. They should jump it. So loop. They doing the step again they get the uh the data and as you can see they pick up the data and doing the step doing the step doing the step doing the step uh, as you can see they found here the nothing and this is really a mistake because now it's not we will be working because we get the infinity loop how we can do that we should get one more if if uh, for example here will be whole they doing the step so let's try it again and everything will be working and as you can see they pick up the data following following and if not working and as you can see done uh, but we did something wrong uh, let me read the uh, our uh, our challenge again so i think this is much than enough uh, to showing you what is the 7 billion humans about for and i think you already understand it really can help you when you're working uh, for example in revit because when you will starting for example your dynamo you also will find the if statements there it's working really pretty similar if for example we look on the new challenge here we should create for example the line uh, diagonal, diagonal line so it's already not just simple thing like uh, take the data and place it we should already manipulate this data just think like this data cube this is actually not just uh, like a uh, cube this is your data, for example, uh, your text, your numbers, uh, everything what you think, this is your data. And for example, we should place it here by diagonal line. So how we can do that? Actually, this is already uh, going more and more complicated. Uh, it doesn't mean you cannot do that. Of course you can. Uh, and what we have, for example, in Revit, in Dynama. If you're going, for example, to the uh, if statement and you will find the if, for example, here also you can you cannot find for example in Revit the loop but you can create it actually for example if your boolean not will be true you can repeat your uh, your function so what i can say what i want to say to you uh, for, oh yeah we have the loop file so my mistake i'm sorry anyway you can create loop by if2 it's also possible to create uh, what i want to say learn Dynama, it's not only you should learn, uh, you starting from learn from the Dynama, you also can learn how it's working uh, from the games. Uh, if, for example, your mom, your colleagues, uh, even your girlfriend saying like uh, the games are making you stupid, no, it's not like that. Because, for example, this game uh, will help to you understand how logic working uh, in real life. So, if you find this. Uh, game like tutorial really useful for you just let me know below the comments share this video because i need uh, how say i i need to get more audience uh, maybe so your friend will find this uh, uh, tutorial game like tutorial really useful um, and comment this tutorial too thank you guys for watching and see you next time in the next game like video